hey guys welcome to another video tutorial and in this tutorial i'm gonna teach you very very important thing if you're a developer and if you want to increase your side performance you can increase your speed right even if you have a, a low configuration server right so this tutorial is very very helpful for you so please watch the full video because i'll tell you a uh, very important things right nobody tell you and if you already know uh, no problem but please watch a full video right so first thing we need to check our side uh site performance for that just go to site info site speed just go to here page speed and this is a site of google where we can check uh, performance of our site right so i'm checking uh, my site rotorg.in already i have uh, improved uh, lots of uh, things right so let's check we can analyze it right so we have to add uh, it will uh, take a little bit of time uh, page inside server are analyzing this page right Uh, sometimes it uh, uh, requires a uh, little bit time, right? So we, we have to wait, and it will show you, right? Uh, I have improved uh, speed and I have improved speed and uh, I have improved uh, uh, performance of my desktop uh, mode, right? Uh, I I need to work more on a mobile, right? Because because its speed is twenty three. And this is not good for ICU, for indexing uh, indexing of your search engine, and the user will not like this of speed, right? But in a desktop, you can see this is an eighty nine. Even I have a lots of content in our website, right? So pretty uh very nice uh speed this is, right? And bottom of that, you can uh. Uh, check uh, which thing you need to fix it right so it will also uh, tell you here in this list you can remove uh, unused css and un unused javascript right so there are lots of paid content uh, paid tools sorry paid tools uh, to remove your unused javascript and uh, unused css because the css we are using a uh, a bootstrap and bootstrap have a lots of code of css and javascript and we don't don't want that all just we need uh, those things that that we are using in our site right so how we can remove unused css as a free this is totally free i'll to tell you a tool i'll tell you a trick to remove unused javascript and css right so I'll fix unused CSS. Let me remove first unused CSS from your site, from my site, right? So suppose you have a site and you're working on something, some project, uh, no matter which programming you are using, right? And here is a site which is Rato.g. This uh, I'm I'm running on a local host. So first, let me fix it or uh, CSS. Let me remove unused unused CSS. So for that you need to make a one file here and you can give any name i'm giving a style.css right yeah <coughs> and you have to open this file inside in code editor yeah let's zoom in and here we will paste here we will uh, add a used css of our site right so how we know the question is how we know which is used css and which is the unused css code right so just for that just go to right click in your site and inspect it and here you need to just simply type control shift p right and just type so coverage and click here 
So nothing is showing. Just you have to click this small refresh icon to reload button. This is a reload button to load your coverage, right? So let's click on here. Yeah. And here you need to choose which file, right? Which file you want to take a action uh, to remove CSS, to remove unused uh, JavaScript, because that is useless. You don't want that CSS, right? So just click on uh, this. This is my main CSS is table minus hyphen CSS dot CSS, right? So this is my file, right? And if you have any another, uh, yeah, let me click here. And if you have any another CSS like any any name style dot CSS, so you have to choose your main CSS file. There have lots of code of CSS, and we want to check which CSS are used and which CSS are not used, right? <coughs> so guys, you can see here is a red bar, right? And this here is a blue bar, right? Sky blue. So this is a red bar means you have a lots of unused CSS and which you don't want that, right? So you have to click this double click here and close to here right and guys you can see here is a lots of code right used and used and unused css code right so we'll check and remove unused css so you can see let's just scroll down and you can see this is a 16294 lines of code and this is very ridiculous right we don't want such a uh, long list of code of CSS, right? Because there is lots of uh, un uh, lots of unused CSS, and we don't don't want that, right? So we will remove that all the codes uh, that is unused. So scroll up top. So you can see this is a blue bar. This is a sky blue. It means that this code. Your site is using this code. Right, and you if you see if you see this red bar means here to here your site is not using this code, and this code is also not using right. So this code is also not using right. So what we have to do just copy the use the used CSS just copy here to here, and come here and paste that code here. Let me zoom out. Right, you have to make another CSS file. Right and just remove this you don't need to copy this code right and just copy this code and this code likewise you have to remove you have to copy all the codes which your site is using right and this are the code which have a red bar you don't need to copy and paste right this is not needed in your site let's copy this one as well I understand it will take a little bit time because this is a uh, sixteen thousand uh, two uh, sixteen thousand two hundred and something. Uh, this is a long list of CSS code. It will take a uh, less than thirty minutes. But guys, this is a crazy thing. After this, and uh, yeah, just uh, after this, your site performance goes off, right? Nobody can. Uh, uh can say uh your site is not a good and not a performance this is awesome right your site will be goes up performance is awesome right even you have a uh low or configuration server right no matter but because uh, you can understand this is a long list of css file and server will need to take uh, lots of time to execute this code right so that's why you have to remove uh, this line of codes, uh, this line, yeah, this line sub code, you have to remove. Just re copy the used CSS which your site is using in your site, right? Your server server are using. So you have to just copy this code which uh, which are used in a, your server in your site, right? Then after you have copied all the all the code used CSS, right? Just remove, just save it, right? And close it here. And then you have to, you have to, this CSS file you have to attach, right? You have to attach this CSS file in your site and you have to remove this stable minus CSS dot CSS file, right? Let me show you.
you can replace this file with yeah this is a stable file yeah here here to here let me zoom in maybe yeah this file you can replace this path you can replace with this right and the likewise same the javascript also the same trick you can also apply on a, on on your javascript right and after that when you check your site performance it will be like like this of 89% 90% 99% right because my site have let me show you my live site right because my live site have a lots of content right there is also a uh, google ads as well right and even that my site is performance is 89 percent as you can understand right there's a lots of things i'm using it here lots of libraries i'm using it here right and you can see uh, this is an awesome site right this is structure as well everything i would just mentioned the font and the, everything is very nice right and this is a very cool site here is a lots of plugins to like or dislike and here is also this is a toast bar right and there is also a like and dislike or uh, i mean just you can share on a uh, facebook youtube and uh, there are lots of uh, social media icons right you can share with that and here is as well a uh, lots of uh, uh, links right and here as well and there is lots of paginations too right so I'm using a uh, lots of plugins, lots of uh, CSS codes, and lots of things I'm using. Even that, my site performance is at a nine percent. That is very nice and very interesting thing. Thing, right? No matter if you are using a WordPress, you can apply a same thing, right, guys? So it will. This trick will work on everywhere, right? So already I have uh, taken a lot more uh, time for 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 uh showing you uh, this uh, very uh, crazy thing so sorry for that uh, because this is uh, very important so for that just uh, i'm making a video on it right so guys if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this so thanks for watching once again bye bye